As I was going through my FC450 engine to install the wide ratio 6-speed gearbox, I discovered that the rubber cush drives in my DDS clutch were totally worn out. I didn't really understand why these needed to be replaced before I got in here, so I decided to shoot some videos showing where the relative motion is that causes the noise, causes the vibration, and eventually causes pretty severe clutch damage. Uh, so you want to make sure you keep an eye on these. Uh, these bikes, as as many people know by now, since you have to replace them so much, have a, a rubber cush drive essentially inside the clutch. And it's not supposed to move. So uh, the pressure plate mounts to these studs, uh, and this inner basket is what drives the, uh, the actual gearbox. Um, the outer is, of course, uh, driven by the engines. There's six rubber pucks in here. Those rubber pucks wear out, and you'll see on this, mine are not moving now. Uh, they're very worn out, so they were moving uh, quite a bit, and I've just gotten it stuck now. And I only have one hand free, um, but you can see they're all off-center um, inside that hub. There we go. So you've got a little bit of relative motion here. Um, Maybe this shows it better. So the clutch, so these outer teeth when the clutch is engaged, this drives the inner basket. And then the uh, transmission is driven by this through shaft. But then these rubber pieces, my engine always had this bad clutch rattle, uh, especially when it was cold. Well, it turns out these rubber pucks can really wear. That's a huge amount of play to have in your clutch. And that's without even putting any force on it. Um, so if you haven't maintained uh, your clutch, pulled it apart to see what it looks like, and you've got 100 hours on it or something like this bike has, I would highly recommend taking a look at that because that makes a lot of noise and it makes a lot of vibration. Turns out the, uh, of course, the diaphragm damping part was totally shot. So all the little rubber pieces are trashed. They're all broken in half. They've all turned into plastic from the heat. This clutch has gotten hot at some point. You can kind of see um, there's some discoloration, some coking on the clutch here. Um, somebody beat the crap out of this poor thing, uh, which makes sense. It's a motocross bike that was used for enduro. Um, but yeah, all these little rubber clutch bits are broken. Uh, this one's actually cracked, you can kind of see. Um, it's not the worst one, but it's the only one I dried off. Uh, this is what a new one looks like. They're nice and squishy. Um, you can see it's all one piece. Uh, and then this side of it has a nice uh, kind of protruding end. So with these in there, it's nice and snug. Uh, with those, of course, it's quite wobbly. Fortunately, uh, no real damage. So clutch inner basket, and then this is the piece that sits in there. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear on the outside just from all the relative motion from being, you know, run with the totally trashed rubbers but uh, shouldn't affect functionality so i'm gonna keep digging and see what i find uh, but first um, that is an absolutely beautiful piece of metal i can't believe how light that outer basket is um, with all the load that it has to sustain i mean that's something else crazy this is the retainer for the uh, conical spring that acts as your uh, pressure plate spring. Now it has a bunch of different layers or levels to it. And there's three of them. And you can see on the front, um, maybe, that it's marked with a one, two, and a three position. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen. I think maybe right there. Um, and this one was in the two position. And you can see that corresponds to kind of the middle, let's see if I can get a, you can see it there, corresponds to the middle step. So you can actually change the preload on the clutch, and I think it's designed for compensating for clutch wear, but if you want a slightly lighter clutch pull and you're not using all the horsepower this engine makes all the time, it might be a good way to get a little bit easier pull. 